button on your notification bell you will still get those information you are looking for fears uncertainty ndibo have dragged soludo to deities that's according to ohanes ndibo the ohanes ndibo finally has voted into the imbroglio between the candidate the presidential candidate or standard bearer of the labor party peter Obi, who is also the former governor of Anambra State and the incumbent governor of Anambra State, talking about Professor Chuguma Soludo. The organization Ndibo has finally, you know, weathered into it, like I've said, and they said now, with what is happening, with what Soludo is doing to their own son, who they said has been widely accepted in the Nigerian polity as the 2023 election gathers momentum, and now Soludo is seen as someone who is trying to derail the opportunity or the chances of Debo man to become the president of Nigeria, that's according to Hannes and Debo. And they said, in view of that, Soludo will not be, you know, left unpunished. Said Soludo's issue, they have nothing to say, they cannot tell him anything, but they have dragged him to deities, two Igbo deities, prominent ones, Chukuleze and Mbise, and Ubinio Pabe in Arochuku. Yes, they have dragged him to that to the to the two aforementioned deities. They are very potent. So that is what is happening now. And they said, look, what this man is doing amounts to sabotage the efforts of the Igbo. For once to get you know the plum job in Nigeria since 1967, the Igbo, you know, was attacked by Nigerian forces. Yes. The BFR Republic was attacked by the German forces. That is it. And so, let me quote part of what Hans said about Chukuma Soludo. I quote, Ndibo have dragged Governor Soludo to the two famous divinities and deities, Chukuleze in Mbise and Obinio Babi in Arochuku for this unreasonable public behavior. Governor Soludo's actions are ridiculous, unreasonable, and premature. There was no locus for the governor's outburst and the sanctions against Soludo to face Igbo deities who serve as a deterrent to Southeast politicians who have been hired by enemies of Ndibo and Nigerians to derail the obese presidency in 2023. Governor Soludo exposed and indicted himself of treachery when he discredited Afghan Labour Party's presidential candidates as no viable alternatives to win the 2023 elections. How can a state governor of two presidential candidates, Abga and LP, make such a public declaration? He has confirmed that he is the number one enemy of the new Nigeria and was hired by an unpopular presidential candidate who is looking for Igbo politicians to pull down obese popularity ahead of the 2023 presidential elections. We advise Oludo to concentrate on the current crisis in Ambra State and Abga and stop casting innuendo and aspersions on the person of Mr. Peter Obi, the LP presidential candidate is not in the same political party with him and is not fighting the number state government. End of quote. And this is what others have said. Look, they said he should concentrate more on his own party. There is confusion in Abga already. And, absolute, and Peter Obi is not contesting the number state governorship seat with him. And so why the attacks, the verbal attacks and what have you, on the person of Peter Obi, that's what Hans and was saying. I said, for the, if they allow this man Soludo to go scot free in this thing that he's doing, that uh, others people will join suit. Oh, but the, the others will follow him to be doing these things. I said, they said they have to tackle it headlong. So they have to teach Soludo a lesson. They said they are not ready to do anything with him than to drag him to these deities we have mentioned. And that's what Hans and have said. All right. And so they said Soludo, of course, should be concerned of leading a number state than to be interested in pulling his own brother down. And people have said it. This Soludo said he will make a number Dubai. Since he, you know, since he became the governor of Central Bank, or since he actually left office as governor of Central Bank, and has been wanting to become the governor of a number state. Has been promising that we make an number Dubai, Dubai of an number Dubai in Africa. Du he will have said it severally, and now they have given him the opportunity to do that Dubai. He's not doing anything. 
Solo though is not doing anything in Aram State. Go there, you will understand what's happening. He's taxing people. Even there are people who are calling for his impeachment. Of course. The Vendors Association of Anam State, they have called for his impeachment. He said people should not go to newspaper stands and read again. You see, so he's, he's sacking people, he's directing people out of Anambra State, he's doing a lot of things, you know, to put Anambra State back. To put Anambra State back. This is the man who said, I will make Anambra Dubai of Africa. So what are we talking about? So Peter Soludo has actually made himself an enemy to New Nigeria, according to Ohanes Ndebo. The New Nigeria, they said they are building through Peter P. And this Soludo, we are surprised at Soludo because Soludo is not someone who is even interested in how to make the land of Biafra a better place. Yes, Soludo is not even in tandem with what IPOB is doing. He's not in tandem with what Debo people are doing. He's only on a solo mission. On a solo mission for personal and self-aggrandizement. That's all. That's what he's doing. That is him. He's a very, you know, selfish person. Soludo is tyrannical. He's a dictator. That is this man we're talking about. He's a dictator. He's tyrannical. So everyone knows what happened in that election that brought him into power. Yes, and Umbrellians knows the Soludo's character. Yes, and the content in him. But all of us know what happened in that election. And so this man is today showing himself who he is, or who he was. Yes, because he has not changed. He has not changed. He's still the same man. So, but you know, when he was contesting for election, he was behaving as if he was a saint. You know, as usual, that's how they behave in this part of the world. Okay? Even in the Western world, politicians behave, you know, as if they are saints as they are campaigning for votes. So, but when they enter, you begin to know their true colors and character. So, Shrudo is showing himself who he is. He is not a person who wishes others well. Shrudo is someone who wants every good thing to come to him. He's arrogant. He feels that he is the most educated, the wisdomite in the Southeast. And so, nobody will have to outshine him. Don't come and outshine me. That is his own problem. And that will be his own, you know. You know, abatros. Soludo's abatros would be his kind of his style that he is the Mr. All Knowing. So that's what I used to say. Yes, the king that refuses advice. Someday he will go to the market with physics. Yes, at his bottom. Go to the market with physics at his bottom. Because he is the king that. He rejects and abhors advice. So that is it. That's a for you. Well, someday he will go to the market.